attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, when you need Nelson. You need Nelson. Today, News 46 took a drive out into the desert area near Gamebird and Malibu streets. A local couple have reported a very strange discovery behind the brush, on the sides of the roadway, in a bag, and placed on old tarps are parts of dead animals, all types of animals, skins with fur attached, bones, skulls, rib cages, teeth, and so much more. The body parts are strewn across the desert area in varying degrees of decay, some very old and some very fresh. The couple who have been going back to the location for a while now say that they also found a place where a coyote they think was shot. The skull allegedly shows a bullet wound. There is blood on the ground and human shoe prints all around it. There is evidence of a scuffle, they say. The rain has washed most of that away now. On some of the bones, you can clearly see that they have been sawed with some type of instrument. A cow pelt that was found in the middle of the gravel road has a foot still attached and a very clear saw mark. The skin carefully removed from the animal in one piece. Some of the animals still have flesh attached and one of them had intestines mostly intact. News 46 witnessed many vehicles stop in this area. It seemed very suspicious. People would arrive and sit in their car and then they would leave when other cars would drive down the road. It's unclear if all the animals were killed at this location or if they were killed or died somewhere else. If they did die of natural causes, the owners did not want to dispose of them correctly at the local landfill's dead animal pit. Instead, they were dumped at this spot, which covers the entire desert area from Malibu to Homestead Road. Lots of trash has been dumped in this area. Nothing new except for these animals. Some of the animals have been identified as possibly being goats, coyotes, cows, and even burros. Some of them are missing their heads. Nye County Animal Control was dispatched to speak to us at this location this morning. They said that this has been happening in this area for years. They have been aware of the problem and are asking that an I County Sheriff's Office detective look into the matter. They also said without a witness, a lead, or evidence, it appears that whoever is doing this will continue. News 46 is asking your opinion or theory. If you have any information or comments, please contact us here at News 46 by emailing news at kpvm.tv or calling 775-727-9400 extension 201. Remember, if you witness any suspicious activity, you can call the Nye County Sheriff's Office at 775-751-7000. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46.